All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Printful settings for Merch Titans Automation. So with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and get started. So I have Merch Titans Automation opened up. I'm on the home page of the app. I'm going to disable all of these platforms except Printful. And now we're going to select our spreadsheet, which, which has our data and designs. So I'm click Upload, and then click Upload again, and select the spreadsheet. As you can see, you get a quick preview of the data in the spreadsheet, so you can quickly make sure that everything looks good. And once it does, you can click back, go back to the home page. And from here, we need to now go over to the left menu and find Printful, uh, where we can adjust the settings for the products we want to upload these designs to. Um, so from here, I'm presented with uh, the settings page. You'll first see Save Login. And I always recommend you check this. And what happens if you do is when you log into Printful for the first time, that information will be cached in your browser securely and locally on your computer so that you don't have to keep logging into Printful every time you start our app. So that is how the save login uh, function works. Now moving on, we have reset login. And simply put, this just resets your login so that you can log into a different account on Printful uh, whenever you need. So you can reset that whenever you need. Now let's move forward. Uh, URL of the store where you want to upload the products. So this is going to be the store URL inside Printful. So let me go ahead and show you how that works. So you can see I am in Printful here. Let me go over to stores. To click on the stores option. This is one of my test accounts. I have this store here, which is an Etsy store. Now if you had a Printful or a Shopify store, Amazon store, eBay store, any of that, uh, you could select that store URL and then select the products you want to upload to that store URL right here. So that being said, click on the store. And once you do, you'll have a URL up here. So copy this URL, go over to the app and copy paste it into this field. <clears throat> and that should be good. Now we're this is an Etsy store. So these uh, Amazon options don't matter, but I'll go over it anyway. So you understand how it works. If this store is Amazon, the marketplace is to select. So if it's you're uploading products to an Amazon store, you need to select the marketplaces you want those products to be on. Then of course, you want to make sure you actually have these marketplaces enabled in your Amazon account. But this isn't an Amazon store, this is Etsy, so we're going to leave those blank. Uh, now moving forward, the name of the product which you want to select. Uh, I have Gildan 64,000 here, which is a really popular shirt on Printful due to its quality and pricing. So that is the product I mostly upload to. So let me show you how you get those. Uh, go back to your Printful page, and go to the stores, click on a store, and you'll see Add Product. So normally you'd come in here and run a search. Um, and in this case, you can see that everything's tempor temporarily unavailable due to COVID-19. So the traditional route is I would go to t-shirts, find a t-shirt, click on it, and then copy the name from here. You can see Gildan 64,000. So you copy that and um, input it here. So that could be any product. It could be mugs, stickers, whatever it is. Just copy the name of the product and then put it here. And then our app will run a search and find that exact product for you. And that's how the uploading uh, will continue. But in my case, I need to actually run a search here and click on it because it's temporarily unavailable. But we can still show you how everything works. So now I input the name of the product. So that's what the app's going to select. So moving forward, colors to select separated by multiple colors by commas. So separate multiple colors by commas. Um, if you want to enable colors two and four, input two comma four. As you can see here, I have four and five. So let me explain how that works. So when you have your product pulled up on Printful, you're going to be listed with uh, the colors here. Now, if your product doesn't have colors, you can just leave leave this blank. But if it does have colors, you need to make sure the app it selects at least one. Uh, so in this case, let's start over here with the black color. How our app works is it starts left to right, uh, and it goes um, horizontally, so left to right. So black would be one, uh, navy would be two, dark heather would be three, sport gray would be four, and white would be five. So inside the app, that's how you count the colors and decide which ones to select. Now if there's 30 colors, it would go down from top top left to right, and move down a row, and move down a row in that order until there's no more colors. So it'd go all the way up to 30 if there's 30 colors. But in this case, there's only five. So I'm gonna do four and five because my design is a darker colored design and it's gonna look good on lighter colored merchandise. Now moving forward, you have stitch color if the product is an all over print neck gator, which is one of those face mask type of products. Um, we're not uploading to those. So you can just ignore that and leave it exactly as it is. Now product style slash category. 
you have three options here. So if you're uploading to shirts, most uh, shirt options will have this. Uh, and I'm going to go with the unisex option. Now, if your product doesn't have this, again, you can ignore it. It doesn't matter what it is. The app will ignore it. Now, display product with free shipping. That's pretty simple. If you want to display your product from the Printful side with free shipping, you can say yes or no. I'm going to say no in this case. Uh, now, mockups, flat mockups is what I have here. So let me show you how the mockups work. Go back to Printful. I need to actually add a temporary design so I can move on, move on to the next page. So I'll proceed to mockups. So now that I'm on the mockup page, here's how you get mockups for Merge Titans Automation. Uh, let's go over and find flat mockups. Go back. You see, this is the mockup I want to use, the flat mockups. So you don't really need to select it here, but you need to copy that name. Um, I'm not going to be able to really copy it, so I'm going to type it in exactly as it's shown here flat mockups. You see, I already have it, but I'll do it one more time. And now the app will select flat mockups when it's uploading your products for you. And then the main mockup image numbers, you can see here I have one. And the reason for that is once you select a mockup, you're going to be presented with um, the options here. I need to actually go back and select this color as well so I can show you how that works. Oh, went too far. Forgot to select gray here, as that's what I'm going to select in the app itself. So now if I go and select flat mockups, you'll see that we have two options here. So now this again works the same way colors work, however many options you have in the mockup field. That's how many numbers there are, so you can go one. White in this case is number one. Sport gray in this case is number two. So I want to use the white mockup, so I'll, click, I'll select one. Now profit, so proceed to details. Let's go to pricing. So here's the profit page. Um, you have the, we have the same options that Printful offers. You can change to. You can change this to a number sign or a percent. We're going to leave it as a number sign, but you can change to, increase by, and decrease by. You can go, let's say, $12 profit. You can see this is $19.95 for most of these products. So I am going to, that's how you get the pricing and the profit. So I'm going to leave it at 12 here. And then uh, that's it for the Printful settings. Uh, let's go over the advanced settings real quick. In most cases, you won't use this, but let's say you wanted a unique title description or tag field for just Printful and you needed to map those columns from Excel. These are your columns here. If you need to map those to the app so it knows which column is your title, which column is your description, which column is your tags, this is how you do it. So the title column, you can select title, description column, you can select description, and the tags column, you can select tags. Or if you wanted to name those columns anything else and create new columns, you can come over here, go over to the end of your spreadsheet, and add in a new column there, in that case, and uh, input the data there. So that is how the call mapping works. Um, so everything looks good here. I'm going to hit the up arrow. And let's go back to the home page. Now I can go ahead and start this app as everything's ready to go. So I have Printful selected. When I click Start, you'll see that we have a Start page. It shows our spreadsheet name up here. Now you can check all or uncheck all for the entire list of products from your spreadsheet. You have full control. Maybe you only wanted to upload the first five. You could select the five and then click Start. But in this case, we want all, so I'm going to check all and click Start Upload. And now, the app is going to go launch print or launch Chromium. It'll open up Printful and go right to our store URL. And uh, from there, it'll start to upload the product. So I'll just let you watch that happen. So it should select the colors here that we input from the app. You see there, and that's going to upload the design. And now that the design is uploaded, it's going to select it and move on to the next uh, stage in this upload process. Now it'll proceed to mockups. It's going to select that flat mockup and select the first uh, mockup image number. So that's the one we wanted. You can see it shows it here, main mockup image number. Now it's going to input your title, description, and tags from the spreadsheet. Uh, you can see the style here. I already selected unisex because that's the option we have inside of the spreadsheet settings. And once the tags are input, it'll move on to the pricing page, which you should change it to 12. As you can see here. There you go. And then it'll submit that product over to Etsy. 
and due to again this being out of stock it's going to give you an error here but normally you're not going to run into this issue once this pandemic is over so and i'll click ok in this case it acts like the product was submitted to etsy which is good so you can see how it works inside the app so once a product is published you'll see on this manage page here it'll show that it's published which is great so if you ever run into any issues whatsoever maybe you accidentally exited chromium now your uh, products will show published with the amount that were published so you can uncheck all the published ones and then click start again and finish off the rest of your spreadsheet. So that is how this new manage page works. If you have multiple platforms enabled during this upload uh, instance, they'll be presented below. So you can manage everything from one page very easily and much more intuitively than the old process. But uh, that is how this works. You can see that this one's published. This product is uploading. When it's done uploading, it'll say publish. So if I click back, go to the home page. You can always get back to the manage page uh, from the upload status uh, page here. So you can click that, you can see one out of 20 uploaded. Uh, it shows you the name of the spreadsheet and it shows you which platform was enabled for this uploading instance. So you can see Printful here. So I click manage uploads, here again, you have uh, full access to that entire spreadsheet to manage control right here from the app. Now that is how you set up your Printful settings. Uh, Printful is a pretty complex platform as there's a lot of products, but that general system works for most products. Now, not every single product can be supported, but over time we hope to support everything that Printful supports. So we'll continue to develop the app that way. But if you have any questions on how to uh, set up Printful, then feel free to reach out to our customer support. We're here to help you. But with that being said, that should be it for this video. I will see you in the next one.